you mad at me for? Cause I shop till I drop at Dior. Penthouse on them sweet floors. South Beach on that seashore. Thousand dollar home decor. Couple racks may be more. Cause I blow it all at Sex Fifth and Neiman Marcus on M Corp. Hey, Pocket Watches. Do you want to learn how two unknown Detroit rappers were able to make five million dollars? It wasn't from their music. Let's go. This is Pocket Watching with JT. All right, before we get started with the video, I just want to give a big shout out to all the Pocket Watches out there. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please continue to send me clips like this that you want to see me react to. And if you have a personal finance question, feel free to call in to any one of the live stream shows that I do, or you can go to my website, pocketwatcher.net, click the Ask JT button, and I will read your question over the air on one of the live shows. Deuces Wild is their name. The feds say a major league IRS scam is their game. A Southfield rap duo, one woman named Samira Merrill, AKA Samira Anderson, Samira Pickett, Krem, Lauren Boyd. Another woman named Noelle Brown, also known as Nikki Brown. The IRS says the two filed electronically by mail from Michigan and from Georgia. They made up companies called Lucid Communication Trust, which got a tax return of $57,000. Another company for Weaves Only, which got a $31,000 tax return. An informant brought in on the scheme let investigators listen to a call where they say the two spelled it all out. The two allegedly stole people's identities and filed tax return after tax return and for fake businesses. If the informant wanted in, they'd be paid $15,000. It worked and worked for a long time. Some refund checks were sent for more than $876,000, another for $299,000. Finally, the IRS caught on. One half of the hip hop duo Deuces Wild is on the run, ducking the feds in a multi million dollar fraud case. According to court documents, Amira Merrill was a no show for a hearing Tuesday in which she was set to plead guilty to filing phony tax returns. She and her partner in crime, Noelle Brown, were charged with stealing more than $5 million from the IRS between 2013 and 2017. They're facing up to a decade in prison. Court says Merrill ghosted pretrial service officers reaching out to her and that the court has not been in contact with Merrill since this summer. Court officials went to her listed place of business in Oak Park as well as her home in Bloomfield Township in search of her, but came up short. So Miss Merrill was eventually found and arrested in Memphis. Her defense attorneys dropped her as a client. So what is the lesson for the day? Today's lesson is when it comes to white collar crime, just because you get away with the money in the short term, it does not mean you will never be caught. This is something that the PPP loan scammers are starting to find out. Just think about this. They were running this scam over years and was able to get over $5 million from the IRS. They were spending the money, buying luxury items, but eventually it all comes crashing down. Now, what can you do to avoid becoming a victim of a tax scam like this? Well, you can go to the IRS and officially request for a protection PIN number. This PIN number will be used every year when you file your tax return. Now, you will get a new number every year. The IRS will mail you a new security PIN number every year. That way, no one can file a tax return in your name and social security number without this security PIN. All right, guys, thanks for pocket watching with me. If you are looking to get out of debt, save and invest and build wealth and you're looking for tips from a certified financial planner subscribe to pocket watching with jt need more book your personal consultation with my man jt at pocketwatcher.net